Hey guys, it is close to Thanksgiving, but I had got a request. I'm on my way to work, so that's why I'm driving. And um, I'm gonna drive really carefully because I have peach cobbler in the back. And so I don't want peach, cob peach cobbler to spill because it's hot, so it's still kind of loose. But anyway, um, I got a question about, um, what is it? Meatloaf, turkey meatloaf. Um, people that are on keto or trying to keep carbs uh, to a minimum wanted to know how do they make meatloaf, you know, without using the breadcrumbs. Well, I say this: you don't have, you only you're using about a quarter cup or half a cup of breadcrumbs. You know, it's not that many carbs. But if you don't want to use it, to me, just omit it entirely. Um, some people use almond flour or coconut flour. I've never tried the coconut flour. I have tried the almond flour in there. Um, but, and then um, I don't use the uh, pork rinds. A lot of people use pork rinds. I don't use the pork rinds because Dante doesn't eat pork or beef. So I had to figure out how to make it tasty without all that. So what I do use, and I think I have a video. I'm sure I have a video on it. I use, um, yeah, I do. I have one on, um, um, John and Mama's Kitchen, aka uh, no, in the kitchen with Corey on Facebook, aka Pajama Mama, or Pajama Mama's Kitchen, in um, on YouTube. But I take portobello mushrooms and I saute them up, and because I use turkey, and sometimes you want the texture of the beef, so that texture of the portobello mushrooms sautéed, and you mix it in. Hold on, you mix it in with your. Um, your meat, your ground turkey, it gives the texture that you're looking for. And so I just, if I don't, since I don't use breadcrumbs, I use one extra egg and mix it up and I use uh, the portobello mushrooms and it'll come out fine. Now, as far as the no sugar, um, cause I know we take like ketchup or um, I usually take a tomato paste and I mix it with like maple syrup or whatever, so I don't do that anymore. I use the ketchup, uh, J. Huges, Huges, I think that's the name, because you know they have a barbecue sauce and he has a ketchup, and it's pretty good. And I just take that, and I mix a couple packets of the stevia, and it doesn't give it a, a bad aftertaste or anything. And I take a little bit of stevia, and I mix that um, together about 15 minutes before, 15, 20 minutes before my meatloaf is done, and I, Put that on the top of it and let it you know let it uh finish cooking and it tastes good okay i mean you could leave the topping off but you know we want the traditional ketchup or tomato paste topping or you can use the barbecue sauce um the j huge barbecue sauce that doesn't have any um sugar in it you can use that also but i tend to like the the, uh, the tomato taste better than the barbecue sauce so that is pajama mama's tip for the day for your turkey meatloaf okay so you guys try it and let me know what you think like comment share subscribe you guys have a great day